guys making another video here this one is eagles related i'm going to be making these or sorry i'm going to be making this video over just some gameplay footage um just because i don't want to get copyrighted by the nfl um for displaying the eagles broncos footage um and this is about the eagles broncos game but it's also kind of about my uh opinions on the eagles mid-season um i haven't been making as many videos on the eagles obviously this year um, just because, you know, I'm kind of more of a casual observer with football these days, but I do pay attention and I do enjoy still watching the Eagles. Um, and this Broncos game was a, it was a pretty uh, good game. It looks like the Eagles are finally figuring out how to run the ball. They started doing that last week against, um, the Chargers as well. Um, after we blew out the Lions and... Yeah, it's just a very inconsistent football team right now, to be quite honest. Um, and I'm just going to go over their schedule here because I want to see exactly what they've done up to this point. So here we go. I'm on uh, PhiladelphiaEagles.com. I will leave a link for this in the description if you guys want to check this out, but you probably already know this as well. But they're a very inconsistent team. Um, I made two videos in the beginning of the season. They beat the Falcons pretty handily, 32 to six. That was week one. And then week two, they lost the 49ers 11 to 17. Um, I'll leave links for those two videos if you'd like to watch those about those two games, but the San Francisco game, if I remember correctly, I wasn't really mad that they lost because they were they're basically in the game the whole time. And they just narrowly lost, basically. They just couldn't get it together. Then week three, I watched this game, but I didn't make any comments, any hate week. You know, it was the Dallas Cowboys. They beat us 41 to 21, guys. It was a pretty bad massacre. And then, of course, week four against the Chiefs, we lost 30 to 42. So as you can see, like the Eagles can score. They just uh, they kind of remind me of like the Lions or like the Colts with Andrew Luck right now. Um, their defense is good at times, but also bad at times. So it's just it's just weird, like. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Cowboys specifically was just because we allowed them to just destroy us. And then the Panthers, we beat them 21 to 18. I didn't watch any of that game, actually. That game I completely missed. Um, then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I did watch that game. Um, and they almost won. They made a late, late uh, game rally to almost come back and win. So they look good there. But then we played the Raiders. We lost 22 to 33 there. Um, didn't really watch that game either, if I'm being completely honest. Um, just paying attention to these scores, though. And then week eight versus the Lions. This was one of the most interesting games. I actually thought it was a meme because I didn't watch this game. I ended up watching the highlights later. Um, but I thought it was a meme when I saw 44 to 6. I was like, there's no way they beat them that bad. And then, nope, turns out the Lions became the Lions and just got destroyed. Jared Goff, you know, really, really looking great now that he's not on the, the Rams. Um, honk, honk. And then the last two games, the Los Angeles Chargers and the Denver Broncos. And these games were pretty interesting. The, the Chargers are a really good team. Um, and the Eagles were, they were in it for most of the game. The Chargers won in like the last 13 seconds of the game with a field goal. And then the Broncos, we beat them 30 to 13. So it looks like we play the Saints next. Um, so where am I getting at with this, guys? I think the Eagles are a good team, but uh, they're good, but not good enough. That's probably going to be the title of this video. And I've already heard rumors that like Howie Roseman is looking to draft a quarterback in the 2022 drafts. He's already like scouting colleges. And, you know, Jalen Hurts might not be the guy. But yeah, th this team... You guys already really know my opinion from before. In my opinion, this team would have clicked a lot better if they would have just kept Doug Peterson for one more season. Give him a whole new team. Pretty much everything they did with Wentz and all that, I agree with that. But getting rid of Peterson was what I don't agree with. They should have just kept him, given him, a new, given him this new team, see what he can do. Because 
<clears throat> I see a lot of the same in this team from what Peterson would have done, but Peterson is a more competent, more veteran coach, in my opinion. He won a Super Bowl as well, so I just think the Eagles didn't cut him enough slack in that regard. <clears throat> and uh, Nick Sirianni, to me, I've got no faith in this guy, to be quite honest. Like, he's just too young, too inexperienced. He would have been good as, like, maybe an offensive coordinator to Doug Peterson, something like that, but to bring him in as the head coach, um, I don't know. I just don't like it. I, I don't really... I never really liked it. I, I was optimistic, as you guys saw in the beginning of the season when I was... Um, when I was hyping up the Eagles, you know, I, I was optimistic. Like, oh, I don't really know what they're going to be, but I'm optimistic. But after like three or four games of this guy, yeah, I don't, I don't really like him. I don't like, I just, I just, he's just too young, I guess. That's, that's the key here. He's, he's not uh, experienced enough to lead a football team. Um, as like the the head coach I'm sorry that's what i'm getting at i'm typing up the eagles standings here so um yeah it looks like the eagles are four and six now so yeah they're they're very mediocre to be quite honest a lot of these games they just should have not been losses like this niners one they they could have easily won that the dallas cowboys won like i'll give the cowboys credit there um the chiefs won i believe they made basically the same mistake against the cowboys they just couldn't get it going Panthers definitely should have beat them. The Bucks, they could have beat them. Raiders, who knows at this point. The Raiders are one of those teams this year. They've just been getting unluck after, unlucky after unlucky after unlucky as far as like everything goes with that team. So who knows? I don't know if they're good or bad. But yeah, I, I feel like the Eagles should have at least one, one or two more wins. This should be more like a five and five type record but again that's still mediocre so yeah the eagles are good but not good enough guys that's kind of my uh my opinion on the whole matter and yeah i'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the season um we still have a lot of division games coming up so that's the big one it looks like we play the saints and the jets those are the only out of division games left we still have to play the Giants and the football team, the Redskins, twice. So, let's see if the... Oh, yeah, we still got to play the Cowboys another time, too. The last the last uh, game of the season, so... Yeah, I don't know. That's another thing that's weird is that the Eagles have a lot of losses, but we don't have a lot of losses in the division this year, so we only have one in the division. So who knows if the Eagles just sweep the rest of the division, highly unlikely, but if it does happen, who knows what happens. I, I'm, I think that the new playoff system, there can be like one more wildcard team per year. So maybe the Eagles sneak in as like the lowest wildcard if they end up winning or even placing second in the NFC East. Because the NFC to me is pretty much set. You have like the Bucks, the Rams, and the Cardinals. Those are the best teams. And then I would even say the Cowboys are up there. So the Cowboys likely win the division, but the Eagles could come second place if they sweep the division. And who knows, maybe Dallas is 7-2, and two, so they're just way ahead. But who knows, maybe Dallas starts throwing some games and the Eagles come in and beat them at the end of the season. Maybe that, maybe that end of the season game will turn into a playoff game like a lot of Eagles seasons have. Who knows? So, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts um, about the Eagles. They're, they're, they're fun to watch, but they're just, they're just kind of boring at the same time. They're definitely more fun to watch than with Carson Wentz. I'll give that. Like, Jalen Hurts is a lot funner to watch. Um <coughs> You know, Devontae Smith, like we got some talent this time. It's not like Carson Wentz using practice squad players. This is like an actual team. It's just, I feel like the biggest weakness is it's just not coached very well. And then, yeah, I mean, I don't think Hertz is like a lead or anything. I think he's an adequate quarterback, but yeah, I, I don't really disagree with Howie Roseman if he does go out and draft another one, but I don't know, guys, this is a, this is what the Super Bowl, this sort of Super Bowl drought looks like, so. Who knows how long the Eagles will be irrelevant. 
but uh, it's not looking super great as far as the future goes. But if they can squeak into the playoffs, anything can happen. So anyway, guys, that is the video. Let me know what you guys think about the Eagles down below. This is kind of, like I said, my mid-season review. I'll probably make another video at the end of the season or if I feel like it during the season. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think down below about the Eagles. I'd love to hear the, uh, the discussion. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. And as always, I will plug my Odyssey channel and my Minds page. Um, as I've said before, I'm not really focused on YouTube anymore. So if you guys want to support my channel on other platforms, I'd appreciate that as well. And honestly, you guys will be supporting yourself at this point because YouTube is just changing in so many bizarre and just bad ways at this point that I just don't think it's going to be a great place for content creators going forward. So yeah, I would recommend you guys looking into the other platforms like uh, Odyssey and Minds. My, and by the way, Minds is like a, uh, it's kind of like a Twitter, Facebook hybrid. So that's what I use for that side of social media. And then Odyssey is strictly a YouTube-esque video platform. Um, so yeah, that's the video. Thanks guys. Thank you.